you mentioned like size of the company or stage of the company is an important uh, consideration. Talk about like the dynamics around choosing a technology that's the wrong size for a company. Okay, so this can happen in a number of ways. I've got some neat stories around size. Maybe it's the first thing I noticed uh, when I started identifying and jotting down aspirational mismatches. Um, I was uh, mentoring a startup CTO uh, who had been at Facebook and he was implementing for his healthcare context, a message, messaging your healthcare team collaborators. And he said, oh, I know how to do this right because I was at Facebook and you need to have an abstract definition of the message and you do a call to make the abstract definition of the message. And then you make a call to fill in the concrete definition of the message. And then you make another call to convert the message to the wire format. And he implemented all of this in his tiny startup and worse, he exposed it to customers. And then he realized all I needed was one call, message team member this, or message the whole team this. Maybe he didn't even need a, a destination. He realized it was, he really realized he needed to keep it simple, stupid. And and he um, unwound this and refactored it and made it simpler because customers complained. But it would have been the wrong thing for his company, even if he hadn't exposed it to customers, because he was just the wrong size to need that much abstraction that much multi-purposing, that much flexibility. You can often build flexibility later. Code is inherently flexible. And often engineers build the flexibility in that they would if they were building a system for 2,000 engineers rather than for two. Mm -hmm. You see this in uh, business software choices, companies that are choosing um, business software for a different scale company, companies that are choosing Salesforce when maybe Pipedrive or a spreadsheet would be the better choice, uh, companies that are choosing Workday when maybe Bamboo would be a better choice. Uh, that's such a that's such a good point. Yeah, yeah. One of the fascinating ones for me is when this is inverted, when you see that companies that are big want to pretend they're small. <laughs> Most of the time we're making choices to to aspire to be bigger than we are. I'm like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never heard of a company trying to operate as a small startup. There, that never happens. No way. Right. <laughs> but you see this in process choices, right? That um, companies that have a thousand employees will be like, oh, well, we're still scrappy. We're still a startup. We, we're not overrun by processes. No, we're still a startup. And <laughs> the truth is that some processes, some lack of processes uh, are more appropriate to a tiny startup than when you have a thousand employees to think about and do do well by. 